Hey guys, Target with Cyclone FPV, and I'm doing a real quick video on how to set up the FreeSky Rover uh, for first time use. Okay, now I've already taken it out of the box. It's sitting on my bench right here, so let me go ahead and show you what we're working with. Here's the Rover, um, and I'm going to be binding it to a, a, a FreeSky X9 Lite. Okay, now this X9 Lite has access on it, uh, so it's running the new firmware. Um, but I will tell you this, before you even get started, you will need to make sure that your internal module is running ISRM 1.1.3 not the 2.1.x uh, or whatever it may be. And if you have a model radio that is not um, uh, accessed, but it's like an X9D Plus or uh, whatever radios, uh, a QX7 or whatever, make sure that your internal module is also still, it's uh, the XJT module is at 1.13 and not in the twos yet. If it's in the twos, I do not believe it's gonna bind with this. Um, and we can test it and I will test it, but if you have a binding issue, please downgrade it to 1.1.3. And I have a video tutorial on how to do that, so you will find that here and also on our new UVTCA learning page, which you'll find in the links below. Okay, so let's just get to this. The first thing you have to do is um, get to the bind button, which on the um, on the <laughs> on the picture here it says, "Oh, it's right here." Well, it is, and if you can try to get to it, it's through the vent, through the board, past the wires, right there, or you can remove all four screws. I've already done it. Now these screws are kind of a pain, so please make sure you may you may strip them. I almost strip one of them and I do that every time. Some of these screws, they're just kind of cheap screws and they are jammed in there pretty good. What you're looking for is this button right here. There's a button right here uh, that what you want to do is you want to go ahead. Now I have my battery hooked up. Uh, I use a um, AC to DC converter, so I just have an on off switch. Uh, but in either case, you just want to have this ready. Have the button, this black button right here, press down and go ahead and turn the power on. Okay. And what you're going to see is you're going to see a solid green and red light. And that solid green and red light means it's in binding mode. All right. And at that point, literally, you can just turn it back or put your stuff back on because you're going to hear the motors trying to level this out. So while it's upside down, it's constantly moving those arms. So let's just put it back up now. And then we're going to get our radio. I'm going to turn it on. Okay. Welcome to OpenTX. Okay. Warning. Now, I've already got the model set up, so I'm going to hit Menu and Page, and I'm going to go to my Binding option. I'm going to make sure I'm using my internal, okay? So internal RF, my mode is ACCST D16, my channels are 1 through 16, and I'm using receiver number 9 since this is model number 9. I'm going to hit Bind, okay? And I'm going to use 9 through 16 telemetry on. When I do that, it's going to start chirping, and you're going to see right here that the, green, that the red light is now blinking. If you can see that, let me see if I can move this out of the way. There, if you can see that right there, that's bleeding. That means we're bound, okay? So let me go ahead and take this turn it back over. I'm gonna hit exit on my radio, okay? And I'm gonna power off my drum, okay? That is the binding process and that is gonna be step one. We'll come back with the next video for step two.